Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is t to the power of 2 minus t to the power of 3, and this equals 2. We are solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. Now, look at it here. We have power 2 here. We have power 3 here. Different powers. And here we have 2. So what I can do will be to express this 2 as summation of 1 and 1. So what I'm going to do is I have t to the power of 2 minus t to the power of 3 equals 2 is simply 1 plus 1. Now, this one here and this one here, look at what I'm going to do right now. Having in mind that there's power 2 here and also there's power 3 here. So if I take this one, I can express 1 as 1 to the power of 3. I can also express 1 as 1 to the power of 2 because 1 to the power of 3 is 1 and 1 to the power of 2 is 1. Why am I expressing the 2 as this 1 power 3 and 1 power 2? Because there is power 2 here and there is power 3 here. So I want a situation that the powers will be corresponding to this other one here. So that's why I'm expressing this one here as 1 power 2 and also this one here as 1 power 3. So that means this equation becomes t power 2 minus t power 3 equals, instead of writing 1, I can simply have 1 power 2 plus, instead of writing 1 again, I have 1 power 3. So that this power 2 and this power 2, this power 3 and this power 3. 1 power 3 is the same thing as 1 and 1 power 3 is the same thing as 1. We haven't changed anything. So, the next thing we are going to do will be to move this over here. So, that means we are going to have t power 2 minus t power 3. Then we have minus 1 power 3 minus 1 power 2. Or the first one is 1 power 2 first. Anyhow, it's still the same thing. And this equals 0. Have you seen it? Now, there's minus here. There's minus here. So what I can do will be to factor it out if I want to. But let's leave it like this. Now, let's add them together or let's collect those ones that have the same powers. This is power 2. This is power 2. So I can simply have t power 2 minus 1 power 2. I'm bringing the 2 together because they have the same powers. And this is minus power 3, that's minus t power 3, and this also is minus 1 power 3. So these ones are together as well. So from here, I can decide to factor out minus here, then have t power 2, minus 1 power 2, then there's minus here, I can factor out the minus. So this will be t power 3 plus 1 power 3, and this equals 0. If you multiply this minus out, you have the same thing again. So at this point, there are some identities that we are going to use to expand each of these. So the first one here, we are going to consider difference of two squares because this is minus. This is power 2, this is power 2. Remember, if you have a squared minus b squared, this equals a minus b times a plus b. And remember, our a is t and b is 1. So that means you are going to have t minus 1 times t plus 1, and this minus. For this, what we are going to do will be to consider this part identity. If you have a power 3 plus b power 3, this equals a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. Have you seen it? So we also make use of this identity in order to expand this. That means we are simply going to have this will be t plus 1 times this is t squared minus that's t times 1, that is t, t times 1, that's a times b. Then we have plus 1 power 2, and this equals 0. Have you seen it? So from here, you can have t minus 1 
times t plus 1 minus this is t plus 1 times this is t squared minus t, t times 1 is t plus 1, 1 power 2 is 1, and this equals 0. So at this particular point, we can factor out t plus 1 because they appear on both sides, we have t plus 1. This device t plus 1, we have t minus 1, minus this device t plus 1, we have t squared minus t plus 1. Let's put it in bracket because there's minus here. And everything equals 0. So right here, I have t plus 1 times, this is t minus 1, we multiply this out, minus t squared plus t minus 1 equals 0. So from here, I have t plus 1 times, this is minus t squared, this is t plus t, this is plus 2t, minus 1 minus 4, this is minus 2, and this equals 0. So, what we can do is to equate each of these to 0. I have the first one t plus 1 equals 0, or I have this one here, minus t squared plus 2t minus 2 equals 0. Now to solve this is simple, I have t equals negative 1, that's my first solution, that's my t1. Now let's solve this quadratic equation. For us to uh, solve, let's divide each of these terms by negative 1, because we have minus here, so we have divided by negative 1, plus 2t divided by negative 1, minus 2 divided by negative 1, equals 0 divided by negative 1. So from here, this is t squared, this is minus 2t, this is plus 2, equals 0. So this becomes the quadratic equation that we are going to solve. We can solve it using the formula method. So let's write the formula in respect to t. We have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. 1 is the equation of t squared as our a. This is my b. This is my c. So I have t equals negative b, that's negative times negative 2, plus or minus square root of b squared, that's negative 2 to the power of 2, minus 4 times 1 times c, that's 2, divided by 2 times 1. So from here, I have t equals this is 2, plus or minus square root of this is 4 minus 8 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equal this is 2 plus or minus 4 minus 8 is square root of negative 4 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals 2 plus or minus this minus here, I have square root of negative 1 times square root of 4 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 is i. This is i times square root of 4, that is 2, divided by 2. So this equals this, cancel this, cancel this. We have 1 plus or minus i. So we have two values for t, two complex values for t. We have t2 equals 1 plus i and t3 equals 1 minus i. Those are the two complex solutions. Then we have one real solution, which is t equals negative 1. Yeah. So what we can do at this point will be to test by inserting this particular value for t. So we can check. We have t equals negative 1. So this will be the space t squared minus t power 3 equals 2. So I insert this value for t. That's negative 1 to the power of 2 minus negative 1 to the power of 3 equals 2. Negative 1 to the power of 2, this is 1, minus negative 1 to the power of 3, this is negative 1 equals 2. Remember when you have negative 2 
power of an even number, it will be positive. And when you have negative to the power of an a odd number, it will be negative. So you have 1 minus 30 times minus 1, that is plus 1, equals 2. 1 plus 1, that is 2, equals 2. So that is it, guys. That is it. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and goodbye.